one of my favorites in an all star. This, we're we're going to the all star team. Um, so first all star is Judd Legume. Popular information. We hype him. We talk him about him just about every week. I saw. I saw they took uh, Kellogg's off the uh, Pop Tarts, right? Oh, they sure did. They yeah. sure did. We saw that today, and they're like, "Oh yeah, Pop-Tarts well, cool. FYI. it's it's that the Pop Tarts name is so it's it's so popular. We don't want to do anything like to, to do anything about that, you know, to ruin infer- it with their Kellogg's thing." Yeah, right. So, I'm guaranteed something's working. This is a, again a great article by Judd. Okay, talking about how far from the vision of W.K. Kellogg they've gotten. He offered free of charge kindergarten, nursery, daycare center for working mothers. He offered benefits long before a corporation was really required to at all. All right, surrounding the plant, well, well coiffed garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember that that's the the Darjeeling thing or the right. the. The great whatever the the that's one of the well, that's a Wes Anderson movie I know of some kind yeah something having to one do with like Kellogg got, and sexual repression is involved there and you know like the, the, he made cornflakes right to or is that before? that's cornflakes that that's him yeah okay the reality is starkly different about investing in his people okay talking about. Workers routinely required again to clock seventy-two to eighty-four hour work weeks. If you beg off to go watch your son's little league game, it dings you. Mm. And COVID made the situation worse. I think it was the Darjeeling Limited Transmarks. I, I I'm not sure if that was it or if it was the the Great Something Hotel. Uh, and I I'm not a Wes Anderson fan, but I know that. They are like a cult. Okay, again, this is what's gross right here. And I, I actually copy and shared this as its own tweet. Kellogg's has seen demand swell during pandemic as consumers stay home and eat there more more frequently instead of eating out, dining out. $1.4 billion in profits in nine months of 2021. In, in profits. That is on top of what they were making. That's right. That, that, that's this year. That's not every. Right. You know, that's the, right. That's a, a, right. New workers making third. Yeah. So first of all, they put in place a two-tiered pay system, so that depending on seniority, you're you're having different pay for different people doing the exact same job. Okay, and here's and then here you go. They've got they're hiring anti-union strike. They're scabs and in strike breakers, paying them thirty dollars an hour and seventy-five dollars per diem. Okay, and then Kellogg's cut off the health care for the striking workers who were forced to pay up to $3,000 a month in COBRA. Mm. Parasites. Garbage. Yep. Garbage. Primary issue was Kellogg's refusal to put a cap on the percentage of transitional workers that receive lower wages. Okay, so again, that's getting a little bit granular into what this is, what happened here. <clears throat> Great executive compensation, exactly. So what the ratio is right now, 279 to 1 is what the CEO to the average worker makes, which was increased from 183 to 1 in 2017. Gross. Legality of union busting. Oh, and of course we're going to go into like right to work and all that stuff in here, right? Right, but of course. System to try to bust the union, yeah. Not all heroes wear capes. Yeah, Reddit users. Is, uh, anti-work is going yep. to be the subreddit doing that. They've been correct. Talking, it's one of, it's blown up that subreddit. So, you know, people are fucking trying to do something. So. Okay. Democrats uh, have sought to make the practice of permanently replacing economic strikers illegal through the pro yeah, act. Cause that's going to go well for you Democrats. Right. What putting hiring making it illegal to hire scabs? That's what they're talking about. No, sorry, I was I was thinking the exact. I thought they were like, no, no, they they would. The pro act actually tries to make it illegal to hire scabs. Scabs, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that that that's all right. 
It's an existential attack on the union and its members' jobs and livelihoods, Biden said. And I saw something also about Kroger and Fred Meyer was offering $17 an hour, and one of the requirements is must be willing to cross a, a, a picket line. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't I don't think so, guys. All right. Uh, again, there were there are 10 comments. I always like reading the comments on popular information. He actually has a pretty smart audience. Haven't eaten breakfast cereal in many years. Thank you. Thank you. Well done. Not that Nick. He's pretty funny. But I knew there was a reason I preferred post cereals, although they have their own labor issues. If anyone, Unpaid. If anyone in the audience can find me who makes magic spoon and i tried emailing them to ask them they're like you know how do you feel about the kellogg strike like i haven't gotten anything back yet but you better get hip to indie left indie left indie left dot news